how we're feeling this morning, don't we? Yeah, good, good. Um, last day here, so we're gonna make the most of it. We've got a lovely breakfast that will keep us going, get us fueled and ready for the day. And uh, yeah, it's been great, man. It's been, good. it's been a good trip so far. Very eye opening, very inspiring, especially with on the car front. And, uh, with breakfast sorted, it was time to move to our new hotel. When I travel, some trips are for enjoyment, others are for business, and some trips, like this Dubai one, are what I call living sims. And what living sims entails is trying out different areas within a particular destination, scoping the potential to live there. And by trying out different areas within a particular location, it enables you to truly see what that place is like from a living point of view, not just going as a tourist and seeing the classic, standard, typical, you know, locations to see. And one of the most important and key takeaways from this Dubai trip is just how important it is to put yourself in environments that motivate you, that encourage you to do more in life and strive for even greater success. Look at this place here in Dubai. So many fantastic, feats of innovation and entrepreneurialism and architecture that really stimulate you to do more in your own personal context and ask yourself, what can you achieve? So we headed downtown to get some food and watch a match. Soon it was time for us to make the fantastic journey to the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. What is this? Serious card serious. Serious? Serious reaction. Oh, you know. Ooh. In the background that's a Mercedes uh the best cell goal wing. Blue, you can say. And the Burj Khalifa. There you have it, folks. I think the key takeaway for me is just like they built a half a mile tower in the desert which is, is just absolutely bonkers to be honest which, no matter which way you cut and dice it yeah these guys obviously have figured it out and it's, it's, i think for me it's a good reference point because if they can build that here like what can you build when the conditions are great when the problems aren't really so significant you know and it's like oh how do i sort this tax bill or how do i hire this person or how do i solve this problem in my personal life you know i think it's those problems seem small compared to something like building a half a mile tower in the middle of the desert all the buildings have big logos and names all over the fronts of the buildings you know like everywhere you look Damak, Imar, <laughs> it's just everywhere and they're not afraid to say yeah I built this <laughs> this yeah. is our building this is our patch and um, compared to the UK where it's literally the opposite I know there's actually certain laws in the UK that prohibit uh, names on the fronts of buildings and stuff but still such a different cultural it's more like look at me look at us this is what we did yeah definitely another key takeaway from here so after touring the Burj Khalifa and the surrounding areas, it was time to head over to Dubai Mall. And quite frankly, I've never seen anything quite like this in my entire life. It's famous for a reason. And yeah, the place is just absolutely out of this world. It's got literally every shop you could imagine. And it's the sheer size of the mall itself is just really something to behold. The mall even has a full size aquarium with sharks and rays and different manta and so many different fish is absolutely insane. And given that, we took the opportunity to get some shopping in, picked up some gifts for family and a couple of items that I needed. And with that cheeky shop taken care of, it was time to get a quick trim. Absolutely mandatory, as always. Uh, I think it's fine. What do you think? Yeah, I really 
right? Over the years, self-care is something that I've quite frankly neglected or looked down upon. You know, I used to, oh, that's for women and moisturizing and all these things. But over the past couple of years, it's something I've added to my game and made sure that I made the effort to do. For example, regular beard trims, looking after your skin with a good skincare routine. And again, just fundamentally looking at different self-care elements, which really make a difference on a compounded basis across your life. Biscoff cheesecake at McDonald's. That's what we've got a cheesecake factory. And they do it at McDonald's. What else? Chili con carne. Hey, is that a burger? <laughs> it looks like it. There's a burger on top of rice, and now it's chili con carne. It's our last day here. I'm just going to get those. With that, it was time to say goodbye to Dubai and start the next adventure. Where to next?